Identity. Why do we struggle so? I'm convinced that a great amount of the trouble that our society has today is simply this. We do not know who we are. We look into the mirror and we ask, who am I really? People are confused in so many areas and ways because they do not really have a solid, satisfying answer to this simple question, yet profound question. The key reason for the frustration is the information source, what you believed when someone has defined you. It was based on a moment in time when their words and their actions entered your ears and your eyes. But the fact is, at that very moment in time, they may have actually even been fairly accurate with their summation, but defining your identity is more complex than just considering just one given moment in time. As humans, we're created for adaptations and change and learning and growing always. Therefore, to allow a moment to define the complexity of the complete life existence that you have is really foolish at best. Even if we assemble a collection of these moments from, you know, various people all along period, over a long period of time, the results will be extremely inadequate still uh, because we're very complex. And I highly suggest that you as an intellectual being consider your sources. Who are they? What motivated their agendas that might have affected you? How have they been given such high level of clearance in order to shape your identity? What voices have you accepted as fact and allowed the, the fact to shape your life? Yes, that's, these are serious questions, but it begs you to think about it. This post can only uh, get you started thinking a little bit down these lines, I hope. But there's some very good resources available. If you need some help locating and getting some good input, please contact me. I'll give you a few uh, recommendations, point you in some directions that might help. But the key point that I want to accomplish here um, are are to establish two things, really. I think that are really important and uh, and to offer kind of that pivotal moment in making progress with you. The key point is what I want to accomplish here are to establish two things I think are most important and often pivotal in making progress. First, there is a million facts out there. Many uh, have some substantial influence. But facts are not what you are really wanting. Truth is really what you're seeking. Truth will always trump facts every time. Let me give you an example. Fact. As a kid, you did dumb stuff. True. But the truth is you're not a kid now. No longer are you a child. And so you can't allow those things to shape your life now. You do not think the same way today. You have different things. Facts like um, your bank account may have told you, your bank account may have told you you're broke. But one year later, it can't really say the same thing anymore because change took place. So the truth is you are not always going to be or remain in the same situation. Things are going to change. Secondly, truth comes from one source. God alone is true. Let God be true and every man a liar, the word says. Jesus Christ boldly proclaimed that he is the truth. Therefore, I suggest that the Bible is the truth resource book that you're looking for. If you're already a believer, then you have another resource available to you. God said, my sheep or my followers know my voice. No other voice will they follow. This verse says three really important things. One, you can hear God directly and you know God's voice when you hear it. Number two, there are other voices that will try to get you to follow them. And number three, you know which voice to follow. I don't know about you, but to me, that is really good news. Another assuring point is that the Bible or the Word of God will never disagree or be contrary to the voice of God that you will hear in your, in your heart. 
So you always have a way of kind of verifying what you're hearing and that you're hearing correctly. The truth is only beneficial to the person who believes it. Religious people have read the scriptures and have intellectually attempted to gather the knowledge of God. The problem is that just knowing that this, what the scriptures say does not set you free. Truth that you believe can set you free to know your identity. Truth that you believe can set you free from deception about the, your identity and the vast resources that you have of or access to. That truth must be received by faith. Believing the truth, believing and trusting what you're, what the scriptures are saying. Our identity is found in what God has already done for us. Our identity is found in what God has already done for us. It is found in who we were created to be from when we were born on this earth, even before we were born. We were custom designed on purpose for a purpose for an even greater purpose. <laughs> we came with an owner's manual, and it's called the Bible. So it can tell us all about what your purpose is, what your performance and what your cap- capabilities are, what, how to maintain every, everything that we need, all of the potential applications. It's all in the owner's manual, and we can take good care of who we are. We can discover who we are. It is written just for you to read and to know who you are and what your designed purpose is, what you're designed to do. The first choice that you have is to just continue to operate without that knowledge and see how well that works out. Or you can allow someone or something else to decide for you what your choices are. Don't recommend that one either. Knowing who you really are and understanding the purpose and power of why you exist is way out there worlds better. It's awesome for you to know, and you can know. Discovering the truth is so liberating and refreshing. John 14, verse 6, Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Jesus is calling himself the truth. He has the truth. His word is the truth. And it would behoove you to really seek out that owner's manual called the Bible and just read it and discover who you are in Christ Jesus. Well, this and other posts can be found on our websites at www.decision1.org and over at www.byfredhughes.com. Signing off for now, but we'll see you later. I hope you...